you know, I bet you're glad to get out of here with a win. Yeah, we are. And, um, you know, I've got to say, supporters really drove us on. They played a key part and uh, fully appreciate them coming up all this way and giving us that type of backing. Um, great to get the first goal in what was quite a, a tight first half uh, not not much not many chances um, we looked like you know we were perhaps a little bit stronger got the ball into good areas in the first half anyway uh, and uh, you know from a set and free kick uh, Raggett's got the first touch and good to see Burgess end scoring because I don't think the centre-backs have scored enough and, and those sort of key goals in the, in the, in the second period it took us a little while to adjust. I do think the substitutions just helped us to have a little bit more in midfield, uh, defend the one-nil lead uh, slightly, and then you know I was looking for that that um, second goal on the break that didn't come, uh, and we had to then scrap it out. Uh, overall, though, you know, a fantastic win, really, really good win, and uh, a big one today. They really put you under the cosh in the second half. Yeah, they did. They they were always going to. Um, let's be fair. We didn't get. Any or you know, if any decisions whatsoever, and you know, it's always going to go that way, and uh, you have to be able to come through it, um, appeal for things, but then go again, and that was very much part of it. But you know, credit to the players, a fantastic clean sheet, and uh, deserve win. Did you feel you retained the ball well enough in that second half at times? It was hard for us to get any type of flow. Um, I did think that in terms of the boys coming on, it helped us in terms of our midfield as well. And I was looking for that second goal on, on the break, definitely. And we had the chances, the breaks, the opportunities, the situations to do that. And, and if you're one nil up away from home, uh, you have to be either ruthless enough to do that, to put the game away, or, or just resilient enough at the back to be able to scrap it out. And, and, and I'm pleased to say, you know, a combination of the two worked for us. It's a, it's a fantastic win for us, a, a terrific one, and one we should build on. Defensively, you were superb throughout. Yeah, and you need to be sometimes, and it's something that hasn't been really a feature of our of our season so far. Our goals against Column has been okay, but not outstanding, and um, we've always looked like we've got goals in us, and and that's been you know the balance of our season so far, uh, yeah, for, for us anyway. Uh, we always know that it's going to be such a, a big game for the opposition. They're going to produce performances, which you know obviously Bolton did today. Uh, they have their own sort of um, uh, situation anyway. You know we see that, but but for us it's a it's a fantastic win. Congratulations to the players, but above all, you know my my thanks go to the supporters that uh, have travelled up here and backed us so well. I suppose that game epitomises again no easy game in this league. Well, there isn't going to be and um, as I said you know if you're looking at the first half it was quite tight I did think you know we looked the stronger really and it was going to be us uh, I'm pleased to say then that we got the uh, the first goal and, and from, a, from a free kick as well where we haven't been sort of prolific enough if you like we had a lot of uh, free kicks in the first half a lot of corners and um, you know we've got our noses in front through one of them where uh, um, uh, Sean's got the first header, and then and then Christian Burgess has finished it off. And as I said, you know it's been situations where my centre halves haven't scored enough goals uh, because you do need them to come up with, you know, somewhere bef between five and ten if you're going to have a promotion season. They can make the difference. Uh, so got our noses in front. Second half we did need to change it tactically because particularly at the start they were they were uh, um, uh, on top of us. Um, we looked like we, we needed that second goal on the break and at times I thought we were going to be able to do it because we got ourselves in, in good enough situations. The second goal didn't come but I'm pleased to say then that we were resolute and defended fantastically uh, and uh, really, you know, I felt battled and scrapped for each other and, and you know, proper team spirit on days like today. And the word for Alex Bass, you said you had a gut feeling putting him in, it can't be a gut feeling anymore. No, I think I've got two good goalkeepers though. I think with Alex he's improved since my time here. And, um, and and Craig's done nothing wrong either. So, you know, overall for Alex, for Craig, whichever keeper I play, I'm very confident in both of them. And and, and at the moment for us, you know, I'm, I'm confident enough then to be able to let Luke, Luke McGee go uh, in the week. That just shows uh, the standard of the other two because Luke is a good goalkeeper as well. But they've really, you know, driven each other on. And, and as I said, you know, whichever one plays, whether that be Alex or Craig, I'm very confident in that department.